I mean, people, I really hate being right. <laughs> Actually, I don't. <laughs> the Last of Us Factions 2 is reportedly on ice. I mean, contractors are being cut. The Last of Us multiplayer spinoff has been consistently delayed, pushbacked, not unveiled, not talked about, pretty much basically Duke Nukem forever. It's bad out here, people. It's bad. I mean, right now we might be talking about Smooth having a baby, Metroid Prime 4 releasing, the Switch 2 coming out, or Grand Theft Auto 6, even before we even get to see what Factions 2 is about. I mean, The Last of Us Part 2 was supposed to get Factions mode, like the first game, blah, 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 blah. Destiny came in there, blah, 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 blah. Now Kotaku has reported that it's basically on ice, frozen, blizzard, dunzo, BG, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Do I hear 2025? Dog, just go have that kid. Have that kid. It's going to be a better multiplayer experience than waiting for Factions 2. I mean, the people that were let go weren't even offered a severance package. And the remaining devs are allegedly being pressured to stay quiet. Kotaku reports that contracts will now terminate at the end of October, while devs are expected to continue until working at that time. Earlier this year, reports surfaced that Sony was reevaluating the project while moving developers on to other things. Naughty Dog has developed multiplayer modes for Uncharted and The Last of Us before, but never a GS game. Their standalone continuously are supported, coming with lofty expectations of regular, substantial updates to content, so it's not entirely different, but it is entirely a different beast. Sony bought Bungie, not only for Destiny and its other portfolio of games, but its expertise in developing live service GS games to help PlayStation branch out and compete with the likes of Call of Duty and Fortnite. Prior to Kotaku's report, Naughty Dog president, co-president, Evan Wells announced his retirement after 19 years with the studio. Hmm. Evan Wells announces retirement... Jim Ryan announces retirement. The GS games are looking very shaky on ice and on thin ice. It's not a coincidence, people. It's not paranoia. This is reality. Dudes are getting out when the getting out is getting good. Neil Druckmann revealed in lieu of the news that there will be a restructuring of the studio leadership. What all that means for factions and when it will come out is unclear. They also have been playing the gaming industry all last year. Epic announced a firing of 900 devs, you know, blah, 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 blah. Bottom line is, people, I told you. I told you. See, on one hand, you cannot criticize Microsoft for losing developers, losing directors, losing programmers, losing leads, losing co-founders, losing studio heads, whatever. But then when people at Sony leave, get laid off, retire, or it doesn't matter, they're leaving the company, period. You can't act like it's not a big deal because it is a big deal. And like I said before, Lion Jim Ryan left because he does not want to be known for the GS era of gaming. I'm Black Bond. Y'all have fun. Just not too much fun waiting for Sony and their non-existent multiplayer games.